Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of rawradianthealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today I want to talk about a comment that someone left on my video yesterday about food addictions and I loved this comment, okay, and the comment was about how, you know, they want to get onto a healthy lifestyle but they live with their parents and their parents eat junk food food, fast food, crazy amount of meat, everything, that they're just, they're just surrounded by temptation. And there is just no way that they can eat healthy when they feel like almost obligated to eat all that junk food and fast food, okay? And I love this because you know what? You're not alone. You, you, I can't tell you how many people describe this kind of situation to me every single day, okay? That you know, there's so many people out there that want to change their lifestyle, but because of, you know, the fact that they live with their parents or their husband or their wife or their boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever that, and the people they live with eat, you know, unhealthy food and have a totally different lifestyle, that there's just no way that they can do anything differently. And you know what, I have to say that that's not true. You can do things differently. You don't have to follow the path that everyone else is following. You know, that really, you can change. You can change things for the better, just for yourself. It's not about changing other people's lifestyle, but if you want something bad enough, you'll make it happen. If you really wanna get healthy, and if you really want to eat healthy and have a healthy lifestyle, it doesn't matter what your parents are doing. It doesn't matter what your husband and wife is eating. It just doesn't matter. It's about you and what you're putting into your body. Because at the end of the day, this is the body you have is the only thing you've got, okay? And so if you want it bad enough, you'll make the changes. And a lot of times, that resistance and the, te the temptation that you're surrounded by is the one thing that actually can pro propel you to go forward and to do it and use that as an inspiration. You know, when I was a kid, okay, when I was 12 years old, I found out where meat came from. And I was just completely, it was like my life just like shattered, okay? And I came home and I was like just freaked out. And I told my parents, like, I can't eat meat again. And they said, okay, fine. You know, but they continued eating meat. My brother, my mother, my father, everyone, every meal they had meat. But I could not. I just, I, my conviction was so strong, okay, that nothing would sway me. You know, and it's been over 20 years that I've never eaten meat. Okay, but they never changed their lifestyle. They never changed the meals around, nothing. You know, but it was up to me that if I was gonna do this, I was the one that's gonna have to be responsible for it, and I was the one that's gonna have to, you know, fix my meals and ensure that there was always something for me to eat. Okay? And but I did it because my conviction was so strong. I wanted it so badly that I was gonna do anything to ensure that I was able to do it. So you know, as much as we want things to be easy, it's never gonna be easy. There's never gonna be that one day when everything's gonna be just peaceful and easy and you can just change your lifestyle. It's never gonna happen. A lot of times I have a lot of clients that are always like, you know what, I can't change my diet right now because my job is too stressful, you know, or things are just a little bit too hectic at home. <laughs> you know what, it's never gonna be that relaxed time. It's never gonna be that perfect time when the conditions are all right and you know suddenly your whole family wants to convert with you onto a healthy lifestyle. It just doesn't happen. You know, if, if you're gonna make any kind of change, it's gonna be that change just for yourself. And let the people around you do what they need to do. You know, they might wanna join you with it, but they probably won't. You know, and you shouldn't have any expectations for them to do so because it's really, it's a personal journey, you know. But the main thing is, is that what I just really want to stress today is the importance of cultivating that, 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 that energy, that strength, that determination to make things happen no matter what. That it has nothing to do with anything around you. It just has to do with you and what you want to do and make that strong, make that just so razor sharp that it just cuts through everything and that you're not affected by anything around you. And in fact, it just, it only propels you forward. 
okay so on that note I'm wishing you guys the most fabulous fabulous day and I do want to remind you that the 10 day juice fast is starting next week April 1st okay spring is in the air it's time to do a cleanse some detox get rid of the food addictions I mean talk about food addictions and juice fasting do you know how many people that join my juice fast every month and specifically to either quit smoking to quit the sugar especially the sugar a lot of, I'd say about 90% of the people that are on the juice fast every month are kicking their addiction to sugar and and, and the feedback I get is that most of them are quite victorious with it as well okay and if you if you want to kick those addictions I suggest getting onto the green juice and onto our 10 day juice fasting program because this is really a way of having a 10 day break when you're off of something you've been addicted to for 10 days, it's really difficult to go back, especially when you feel that blissed out feeling from doing a juice fast, okay, and you feel so good, so healthy, so vibrant, so energized. The last thing you want to do is go back to the junk food and the fast food, okay? So go to my website at www.rawradianthealth.com. Click on Juice Fasting. There's a bunch of information on what exactly we do for the 10 days and what the program's all about, and you can sign up there. So I'm wishing you guys, once again, the most fabulous day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.